welcome back to GTU. Nearly 2 million Americans will be diagnosed with cancer annually. Each year, a cure is closer to be found with the help of the fundraisers and donors. Joining me now today is George Severson, board member of the American Cancer Society, Utah chapter and GTU creator, and Dr. Matthew Bryan, lead physician at the UAF Legacy Health to discuss an upcoming event, Cancer's a Drag. Welcome, you two. Hello. Thanks for having us. We love talking about this event because we had such a blast last year, George, didn't we? Yeah, it was a good time. It's a good party. And this year, the party's going to be even bigger. Even bigger and better because they learned a lot from that first event, which also went off without a hitch. Yeah. But describe what the night is like and also what an incredible cause this is for. Yeah, so Cancer's a Drag is to address um, health inequities inside uh, the LGBTQIA plus community to make sure that everybody has access to health care, information, um, preventative um, information, uh, care after being diagnosed, and uh, all the money that we raise uh, goes towards, uh, goes here locally um, with the American Cancer Society. And Utah's really leading the cause in this area. The, the National Board um, of American Cancer Society was like, do you guys want to try try this event? And so we were two of the participants, you, the, the GTU girls last year, we jumped up on stage with our friends like Kurt Bester, and we performed our little booties off, right? We did, and it was yeah. so much fun, it all was. raising those funds fun. for a good cause. Mm -hmm. And there was incentive. We had people out in the community trying hard to push for those funds, and you took <laughs> The prize, gold medal right here. You raised the most money. How did you do it and what was your experience last year? Well, the experience was fun. I, I, was I fun. will I will admit I was terrified. I'm not not <laughs> born to be a performer on the stage. Um, but <laughs> I, I have not quit my day job. Um, but it That's ended up being good. so fun. It was such a fun experience, yeah. right? And I, I loved that we got to marry the, you know, American Cancer Society raising money for, for cancer research and everything and then my passion is LGBTQ health and, and uh, addressing inequities that exist there. It's, it's, it's harder for LGBTQ folks to access quality care. Well, you live um, it and see it every day. I, explain what you do. So I, I work at um, UAF Legacy Health, which is a community health center um, that focuses on LGBTQ individuals who face a lot of disparities um, in accessing care. But everybody is welcome. Um, and I think it was, it was neat to work with American Cancer Society to draw attention to even with cancer issues with LGBTQ folks getting access to quality care regarding cancer. That's, you know, LGBTQ folks have lower rates of cancer screenings, often later diagnoses, therefore worse outcomes. Yeah. Um, so it was a great, a great opportunity for me to kind of bring those two two kind of passions together. And that's and a huge awareness. message to really make sure we're all aware of, is yeah. that there are those discrepancies in healthcare. And why is that? Lots of reasons. Um, a, a, lot of, a lot of times uh, providers aren't, aren't aware of the issues, um, but, but in, in general, LGBTQ folks, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of barriers in, in their whole life. You know, employment, uh, finding housing, getting health insurance so there's there's tons of build up to even get in they shy away from talking to their doctor about mm -hmm. things like that because of maybe a possible a way they've been treated in the past or just are, are there's just there, there's these inequities and that's what mm -hmm. this whole thing is about is to try and address that mm -hmm. and I'm so proud to be a board member of the American Cancer Society of Utah uh, and that they're they're doing this, and it, it's just a lot of fun. And right now we have 13 ambassadors, just community members whose lives have been touched by by cancer, just like how how ours have been as well, um, that are out raising money and awareness right now. It's somewhat of a little bit of a competition. They're all fighting to raise the most money so they can grab his crown <laughs> <laughs> for this year. So it should be a lot of fun. But we have um, it's it's a party, and that's mm -hmm. what's so much fun. And you know what? Just come out and have a good time. We have celebrity judges. Um, a real you know, housewife our, uh, yes, will Whitney. be there. Uh, she's coming. I think I've got a meeting with her today, actually. So we've got some fun people that are going to be there. And, um, you know, tickets are available. If you want to be a part of us, if you want to sponsor a table or get a table, tables are still available, but you can get tickets at cancers, cancersadrag.org or just Google Cancers a Drag Salt Lake City and this the information. Perfect. And how about May 18th? May 18th, uh, Saturday, 6, 11 days. 
It's go time. I days. hope you're ready. Well, we're so proud to to cheer everybody on, to spread the word, and to support. And it is a party you will not want to miss. All the movers and shakers from our surrounding areas and yeah. towns, dressed in drag and incredible drag performers. Thank and you, Marlo, Suzanne. Did I say that right? Yes, the Mar it's Marlo, Marlo, Suzanne, Suzanne and the Galaxy, Galaxy Band. Band. It's a concert. We're gonna have fun. It's the so place fun. to be. So Thank fun. you both so much. Can't wait for May 18th.